All right, man. David Benavidez is trying to cut Canelo off at the legs. Let's talk about it. I was watching this interview he did with Pro Box TV. I got to start watching some of their cars, man. I heard they, I, I hear rave reviews about some of the cars they putting on over there. Um, now, what's going on here is that he wants to get David, David Benavidez wants to cut Canelo off at the legs. He says that he wouldn't be surprised if he fought uh, Jaime Munguia. Okay. He said he wouldn't be surprised if he fought Jaime Munguia. I said again, he said he wouldn't be surprised if he fought Jaime Munguia in February. I mean, in uh, May, and then turned around and tried to fight Charlo in September to end his Showtime PBC deal. Now, if you're saying, oh, you know, what does Showtime got to do with it? Well, Canelo has a TV deal with Showtime, and which tell you another reason why Javante Davis ain't the face of boxing because, you know, he never had a network deal with Showtime. Canelo instantly came over, got a network deal, and so Showtime will at least carry two boxing matches next year because Canelo has a network deal. Now, they could have bought Canelo out of that deal, but I think that would have been a little bit too much money. I think it would have been a little bit rich for their blood. All right? So, um, so you know, that that's kind of what the deal is. And what he said he want to do is kind of cut Canelo opponents off, and they want to go for Jamal Charlo. Now, that's easier said than done. Now, him and Jamal Charlo got history. Check out the Box Moves playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. You go live or drop video. I think it was at Errol Spence and Ugas or something like that that they got into it. They got into it. Don't forget that. They got into it. It was a big scuffle in the crowd and all that type stuff. And, you know, what's so funny about it is, you know, they got to yelling at him. I mean, got the, the, the Texas fans was booing him. Don't nobody like them ninjas. You know, I think they probably get booed in their home, home state of Louisiana at this point. So David Benavidez want to turn, turn off Canelo's pipeline to fight some of these opponents. So he can do it down to him. But I agree. He made another comment, and I'm going to speak on the comment he made, where basically he said that uh, if Canelo don't want to fight, he should just go fight celebrity matches and go cash out, uh, uh, go cash out versus uh, old buddy, um, Jake Paul. And that's like been a rumor for a while that that could happen. So at the end of the day, you know, that's why Benavidez was probably trying to get Munguia in the ring because he knew that Canelo was going to try to fight Munguia. So he's trying to do another options now. Now, he also did go on to say that he don't believe in raining on people parade and being a clever lane like Paulie suggested and saying, go pull down on Canelo. He said, no, he believed that's their day, day, time. He don't believe in doing that. And I respect that. But at the end of the day, you got to do what you got to do. Close mouth, don't get fed. You got to do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? You got to do what you got to do. And a, lot, and a lot of times, you know, when we got to do what we got to do, there's some things that we don't really want to do. Some things we got to do that's out of our truth or that maybe sometime out of our character. But I, be, I believe that that's, that's just... You know, if he don't fight you, then you got to smoke him out and disrespect him. And it's been a, it's been proven to work. Eris Landy Lara did that to him after Eris Landy Lara fought. Uh, after he fought like in Fredo Angulo or something like that, it was it Kirkland or whatever? And you know, it might have been a Kirkland fight. And where Lara pulled up on him, pressed him in front of the media, disrespected him in front of the media, and then next thing you know, Canelo fought him without Lara doing that. Canelo wouldn't have fought him. Let's keep it a bean. Let's keep it a bean. He said, as, as, you know, Benavides won't let Canelo wait him out. He said, right now, it's my smartest and my smartest interest that I stay uh, close to the weight, stay training as much as, as much as he he's going to try to wait me out. It's not going to work, said David Benavides That's the Pro Box TV about his belief that Canelo is the land to fight. Wait to him. We can no longer make the weight at 168, which could come soon. Uh, given the humongous, how humongous he is, I'm going to be ready for whenever the opportunity comes. So, I mean, yeah, Canelo could wait all he wants to. He the one that's getting older. It might be just as hard as him to make that weight with all the fluctuation he's been doing as it is for Benavidez. 
He said, I know people say that he's done enough and he doesn't need to fight. So why does he have all the belts Benavidez has continued to buy Canelo? Quote, he should just do a celebrity boxing match like everybody else. Why is he trying to go hold the belts hostage and not give the number one contenders the opportunity they deserve? Does Canelo uh, owe Benavidez a fight? People always say that David Benavidez hasn't done enough to start a fight. When they mandate him to fight Ivan Uterman for WC title, he jumped on it quick. I feel like Canelo needs uh, me right now, to be honest with you. Um, you know, and I and I kind of agree. With, I kind of agree with him on that, man. That uh, you know, um, I kind of agree with that, man. I think they need. I think they need each other. You know, you know, I think they need each other. You know, I think they literally need each other, bro. You know, uh, um, uh, but, uh, but, you know, that's, that's what they got going on. They ain't got going on. But uh, he said if he wants to cement his legacy and make big fights happen because he wants to fight for money, he said Benavidez, get paid a lot. So it's, if he keeps uh, getting paid like this, this is his biggest fight to make, said Benavidez, on why you should fight him. He said you owe it to the people. If you are if you say you're a unified champion, let's give the people what they want to see. And if they're so confident of themselves like they say they are, let's put it to rest, said Benavidez. He said maybe I'm being optimistic, but I think he's gonna the fight is going to happen. Said out Jerry, uh, his belief in Canelo Benavidez fight. It may not happen next, but it happened down the line. He said, I definitely think it happened because he's got a big ego too, and I'm sure he wants to prove to the world how good he is at Benavidez about Canelo. I don't know when the fight will happen, but the good thing is I'm still young, I'm still hungry, and I'm extremely, uh, still extremely training hard. He said, my motivation I can't be messed uh, with right now. I'm really focused and dialed in, and I have a tunnel vision right now. Uh, said Benavidez, so he basically want to go at Charlo to cut it to cut his pipeline off to opponents. But the rumor is he running back. Uh, you know, you know he running back to the zone after this. You know, that's what I keep I keep hearing. He running back to the zone. So that's that's what I keep hearing that he running back to the zone after this. So who who it is what it is. It is what it is. So um but I think it's a smart strategy to have. Now the hard part is getting uh is getting Charlo in, in the ring with you. That's the hard part. That's the hard part. Is getting Charlo in the ring with you. That's the hard part. It's getting Charlo in the ring. You know, Charlo said he wasn't impressed by Demetrius Andre knockout or nothing like that or whatever. Um, so be it. Let's see if, you know, he get in the ring with him. Charlo stronger, Charlo bigger, but I don't think Charlo quite ready for that yet. You know, I don't think he's quite ready for that yet. You know, obviously him and his brother having some problems and he trying to put his life back together. So sometimes you need to hit the reset button. Sometimes you be moving too fast, you know, and you got to get humbled a little bit. You got to get back on track. Sometimes that's how I, how I be going. You know, real talk. Sometimes that's just how, how I go. Sometimes we need to slow down. And the most high got to slow us down. So you never know if you... Your life keep you feel like you was rolling in life and you was on point and all that and, and all that type of stuff and you know oh if this never happened I would be better and all that you just never know you probably was headed for self destruction and it was so you probably was headed for self destruction so yeah 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 but Benavidez senior Jose Benavidez expects destruction David Benavidez will tear Charlo apart. He said, if, you, "If it looks, if he looks like that, David would tear him apart." <laughs> have Jose Benavidez senior said during a recent interview, "David would tear him apart." So even they don't think he he ready. 
And you know, Charlo don't look right. I think he need about two or three more fights. He need to be on. He need to be on the next card. Uh, at the top of next year, he need to be on Tank card. That's allegedly in uh in March. I'm mean, allegedly in Jane. Supposed to be in January. Real talk. He need to be on the. He need to be on the first thing smoking. That's the move. That's the move he need to be on. So. But uh, but yeah, let me know what you girls and guys think, man. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop video. Uh, financially, you want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Um, uh, next to the you know, uh, link tree, I mean, under the, in the description is the link tree. You'll find me anywhere from Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash Up, Bimo, PayPal. Uh, you know, other than that, man, I appreciate y'all for supporting the channel. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Peace.